extra minutes. What is happening to the glaciers here in Patagonia? All glaciers in Patagonia, apart from maybe one or two, are in recession. Um, and that, and they've all they've all receded from their, their their sort of their moraine their limits, which were which were the major limits of the last few thousand years, was in the Little Ice Age, the 1870s. So since the 1870s, all the glaciers, pretty well, apart from literally a handful in Patagonia, have been have been melting. And how uh, fast are they melting? Well, I mean, this glacier behind us is moving has far is, is melted a long way. I mean, even since I was here 20 years ago, it's melted something like two kilometres, retreated two kilometres, and just in the, in the periods of time I've been going here. Why is that? Global warming. You know, as we, as human beings, we've, we've now, we're now reaching 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And if you put a greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, which we are doing, um, that warms the climate. We've got more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere now than the Earth has experienced for at least 750,000 years. And actually, we've got geological evidence to show that it's more than we've had for 20 million years. So, so uh, if you put a greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, the atmosphere has to warm. We've known this, this is old science. We've known this, this science since the um, early part of the 19th century. Mm. But how are you so sure that it's humans are to blame? Well, we do what's called attribution studies. Uh, we know that the pattern of warming we see is consistent with, um, with uh, greenhouse gases being, being part of it. We know that it can't be natural, it can't be the sun driving this, because the sun is actually in a quiet phase at the moment, and yet the temperatures keep on going up. We know it can't be <coughs> another uh, carbon from another source, because we can look at the chemistry of the carbon in the atmosphere. We, know that we also know that actually if you put the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the atmosphere has to warm. So mm. it's all entirely consistent. There are lots of other pieces of evidence, but it's entirely consistent with humans doing this. Do you have no doubt whatsoever that uh, humans are to blame? IPCC uh, produced a report uh, and are producing reports now, uh, which the latest IPCC report show that actually that, that you know, we're 95% we're sure that, this, that climate change is happening and, and the majority of this is caused by uh, you know, human activity. So there, there's still that 5% Yeah, there's 5%, there. there's 5 that? uncertainty in all science, right? Um, if you smoke 50 cigarettes a day, no doctor for the rest of your life, no doctor is going to say, I know exactly what, you know, when you're going to die or indeed what disease you're going to get. Uh, but we know that it's bound to shorten your life. As if you look at the population as everyone smokes, we know that people who smoke tend to die, you know, have life expectancy shorter than other people. So, so there's always uncertainty. We, never, we can never predict exactly, but we know that, that greenhouse gases will warm the climate. But you were telling me the other day that the glaciers have been melting over the past 20,000 years. Yeah, and longer than that. So well, how can humans be to blame well, for that? Well, change, climate changes all the time. You know, which in a sense, it, we're not talking about climate change here. We're talking about anthrog anthropogenic, human-induced climate change. We know that climate change occurs naturally, and we know what caused climate change in the past. It's the way in which the Earth goes around the sun. Um, and we know, therefore, that there's been phases of glaciation when the glaciers were bigger and now they're smaller. And, and that's entirely uh, that's in keeping with what we know about how the atmosphere works and the climate works. But we also know that we are putting more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than it's pretty well in, in recorded time, really, and mm. certainly in human time, has ever been in the atmosphere. Mm. And we know that that must have a radiative effect. In other words, it must warm the climate. And that's exactly what's happening.